Hello everybody and welcome to another week's reflection. Hope that I find you well and that all your endeavours are fruitful and fulfilling wherever, wherever you may be. I'm having a little bit of trouble this week. Uh, I am nothing less than distressed at what is happening in the world, in various corners of the globe. Afghanistan, Pakistan, Cuba, Fiji, South Africa, Ethiopia, so much human suffering and so many human beings inflicting suffering on another. It it's, seems like desperate times and I know that there has always been suffering and there always will be around the world. But on top of the COVID pandemic, I, I'm just bemused at how brutal our human being can be. I have been reflecting that maybe this is the difference between ideology and religion. So much ideology is actually blamed on religion in a way, which I don't think is right. If, because an ideology seems to want to control, to enforce, to exploit, to inflict, to almost entangle another in a certain way of thinking or a certain way of behaving within a social construct. Religion, from my understanding, was never to enforce, to inflict, to exploit, to entangle another in their relationship with God. And I keep coming back to Richard Raw's quote that I've borrowed for many years, that healthy religion helps us transform our pain, not to transmit it. And it seems like the world either has to grow up or it's going to totally destroy itself. So whatever your spiritual adhesion this week, I invite you to go deep into your being, to acknowledge whatever pain there might be and to seek to transform it. And that if each of us attempt to, to do that, we become a channel for which God's Holy Spirit, the spirit of life, of light, and of love can overcome death, darkness, and the hatred and the violence that seems to pervade the earth's globe at the moment. It's important to stand up for certain things. But to enforce it on the on another in brutality or control seems to be a bit tricky to me. And so I invite you to reflect on your own relationship with God and find a way to bring peace, hope, and maybe even a little faith to this modern and seemingly confused world in which we live. I wish you well, and I'll see you again soon.